Breaking news. EFCC re-arrests Femi Fani Kayode. Hello, my wonderful people. The guy has been re-arrested. Femi Fani Kayode told Nigerians that he was not arrested. He was released based on self-recognition. Blah, 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 blah. My dear, the, the, the matter is quite contrary to the previous uh, acceptance and belief that he made us to accept. Because right now, EFCC has grabbed him again or picked him up as the case may be. Femi Fani Kayode has been picked up by EFCC as we speak now. Okay, uh, remember there are allegations on him uh, with regards to, you know, his position uh, with re when, when he was the aviation minister, some fraudulent activities, money given to him in regards to some airports in the country as aviation minister, and misappropriations of funds, fraudulent activities. And we know that the person called Adam Sushomole said, well, anybody who joins APC, even if you have put Nigeria in your pocket, all your sins will be forgiven. And as the heavens is far from the earth, nobody will remember it anymore. Anymore. But far from that very sad uh, matter, Femi Fanika Yode's case is different. We saw a few days ago that EFCC picked him up and Nigerians were like, what happened? He said, well, they were just having a nice conversation. Anyway, the matter is quite different now because EFCC has picked him up again. We also told you that he spoke to a reliable a friend saying that um, he regrets joining APC because it destroyed his credibility and he's still being haunted for the misappropriation of funds. So for what reason did he join APC? A former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayode, has been re-invited by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, following investigations into his alleged document falsification. Femi Fani Kayode, alongside a former Minister of State for Finance, Nenedi, whose man is standing trial on alleged 4.6 billion Naira laundry before Justice Hamed. Other, de other, deformants, other defendants are Yusuf Danjuma, a former chairman of Association of Local Governments of Nigeria and a company just trust dimension nigeria limited they are facing a 17 count charge of money laundry preferred against them by the anti-grief agencies they had each pleaded not guilty to the charges and were granted bills the trio have begun have begun before justice aliko and weaknesses were still being led to led in for evidences against a woman and the case is still ongoing in the lagos division high court the charge was consequently reassigned to a new judge justice daniel osage and the defendants were scheduled for rearrangement on october the 27th meanwhile at the last enjoyment date Femi Fani Kayode was absent from court and the defense counsel who appeared on his behalf Mr. Fred informed the court that he was on admission in Central Hospital in Abuja he had prayed for an for an enjoyment on that grounds on before the second defendant but the EFCC prosecutor Mrs. Boski informed the court that the same tactics has always been adopted by the defendant whenever he does not want to attend court proceedings. After going through the court records, Justice Osage noticed that it was clear that the defendant had issued a similar letter of excuse five times. That is Femi Fani Kayode. The court has consequently ordered the defendant to be present in court on the next date without failure. The court also ordered him to pay a fine of 200,000 naira, 200, naira in addition. When the matter came up today, all the defendants were present. Counsel to second, third and fourth defendant, Morrison Koka San and Clement Ohameze also announced their appearance. The first defendant's counsel, Chief Ferdinand, was absent following a letter to that effect. The prosecutor, Mr. Rotimi o, Oyedokbo, 
Oyedikbo did not oppose the letter of the first dependent council. Oyedikbo, however, informed the council that the prosecutor was glad that the court has find has figured out from its records that the second defendant, Femi Fanikayode, has sought replica excuses from the court furiously five times. He told the court that the prosecution has recently discovered that all letters sent by Femi Fanikayode on that effect has been fake. At this point, the, cops, the court stopped the prosecutors on the ground that it, that it was a matter the agency ought to trash out before the court act on the letter to grant an adjournment. Usage read that, the, that having grant an adjournment on the letter, the court has become futures to its offenses by allowing it. In response, Oyedipo told the court that the agencies was currently working on the report and would do the needful. The drama, however, unfold after the case was adjourned to January the 24th. Why Femi Fanika Yode was still in the corridor of the court. An EFCC investigator, Mr. Shehu, walked up to him alongside the prosecutor and after some tic-tac, the defendant entered his vehicle and followed the EFCC operatives to their office. The operatives who confirmed the arrest to journalists said that at the time of the filing of this report, that Femi Fanika Yode was yet in their custody on a quiz over the fake document and falsification he gave to court. In, in the charge, the defendants were alleged to have committed offenses between January and March 2015. In counts 1 to 7, they were alleged to have unlawfully retained over 3.8 billion, which they reasonably ought to have known from part of the proceed from an unlawful act, stealing and corruption. In counts 8 to 14, the defendants were alleged to have unlawfully used over 970 million, which the reasonable ought to have known from part of an unlawful act and corruption. Meanwhile, in count 15 to 17, Femi Fanika Yode and one Olubode Oke, who is said to have been at large, were alleged to have made cash payments of about 30 million in excess to the amount allowed by court without going through financial institution. Besides, Femi Fanika Yode was alleged to have made payments to one pastor, co PPC of number 125 Lewis Street, Lagos, in excess amount allowed by the law. All offenders were said to have controversed the provision of Section 15, Subsection 3, 4, Section 16, Subsection 2B, and Section 16, Subsection 5 of the Money Laundry Prohibition Amendment Act 2012. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.